It's official. A street in Gwynedd has been declared the steepest in the world. People in Harlech are celebrating after Guinness World Records confirmed that Forth Penllech had beaten the title held by a street in New Zealand. And Chris Dearden, Chris Dearden is there for us tonight. Yeah, good evening and welcome to Llech, as the locals call it. As you can see, it's pretty steep and this is only part of the carriageway as it uh, winds its way down from the upper town of Harlech to the lower town down below. Now, since the record was made official this morning, plenty of people have been spending the day trying the gradient out for themselves, walking from the bottom to the top. And as you can imagine, plenty of them were pretty glad that there's a tea room at the top. A well-earned rest after climbing a record-breaking street. It may not be the widest strip of tarmac in the world, but it's the gradient where Forth Penllech punches above its weight. Some people in Harlech have spent the last few months trying to prove what their legs have told them for years, that this is the steepest street in the world. I know the team's been working really hard on this for just over a year, and we're so grateful to them for all the hard work they've put in. And it'll be worth it, because it'll put Harlech on the map and we'll get people from all over the world visiting. Now this is the steepest bit of the street. As it goes around this next bend, the gradient is 37.45%. Let's just see what it's like to walk up. Well, we're only halfway up, but the views are pretty good. Do you know what? Some people in Harlech do this every day. But it's not such good news for people in New Zealand. This is Baldwin Street in Dunedin. Until yesterday, it was the record holder with a gradient of 35%. Forth Penllech has beaten it with 37.45% at its steepest point. It's a bit gutting, but um, you know, you've got to take it, don't you? The facts are the facts, and Guinness Book of Records is a Guinness Book of Records. But there's not much sympathy for New Zealand back in Harlech. Signs are already going up about the new record, and the newsagent has even changed its name. People are stopping to photograph themselves on the street as well as admiring the view. We're on holiday here. From uh, Kent. In Kent, yeah. Um, and we're, we... we're comparing the two hills, <laughs> this one to the, the one in Bald Baldwin, Baldwin Street. Street in New Zealand, yeah, which we visited as well. Uh, we think the Welsh one is far prettier, it's, though. It's yeah. much prettier. And Llech is already starting to attract more attention. It was closed briefly this afternoon while tests took place for a cycling time trial up it. That's due to happen in August. For today, though, Harlech is riding high. And plenty of interest, as you can imagine, here in Harlech today. So let's talk to one of the people who actually put the record submission together. Sarah Badham, you live at the bottom of this street and you also actually wrote the submission or co-wrote the submission to Guinness World Records. So, I mean, Harlech has got lots of things to attract tourists. Castle, fantastic views of Snowdonia. Does it really need the steepest street in the world as well? Well, I can see what you mean, especially on a day like today. I mean, we have a majestic castle and tremendous views. But, you know... We'd like to put Wales on the world stage. We really want to bring more tourists to the area to come and see what we have to offer. It's a gem of a place. You know, walk up Clerc, enjoy the view of the castle when you get to the top. It's a great reward. There you go. There's your sales pitch. Now, lots of people in this town I've been talking to today have got favourite memories of this hill. It seems to be sort of ingrained into the DNA of Harlech. What's your favourite memory of it? Oh, I've got many happy memories of walking up Clerc as a child, but I think probably... The most sort of comical memory I have is walking up with my friends wearing high heel shoes. You know, it's actually, it's quite easy to walk up in high heels, but coming down, I mean, it is absolutely impossible. So you generally end up taking your shoes off and trying to walk down barefoot, which isn't the most easy thing to do, as you can imagine, it's quite sore on the feet. There's an idea for a comedy competition <laughs> in the future, perhaps. I'm told that there's going to be a celebration party, a street party, perhaps, uh, taking place on Saturday.